game time. Hey everybody, welcome back to NTW. My name is Rob, and yes, it is game time. We are back here on World of Warcraft. And we are back on our human protection paladin. And we are getting ready to start up some dungeon runs. And as you can see, I've gone up to level 35 just so I can unlock the next set of dungeons without having to take a break to go grind out more levels. Uh, on deck today, we got Scarlet Monastery and Muradon, the Wicked Grotto. So I'm going to get queued up and we're going to get on those. Alright, we are back in the dungeon. And up first, you can see we have Muradon, the Wicked Grotto. And to read the description of this dungeon, according to the legend, Zetar, I'm going to butcher these names, guys, sorry, son of Sonaris and the Earth Elemental Princess Thrandrus begot the barbaric centaur race. Shortly after the centaur's creation, the ruthless creatures murdered their father. The grief stricken Thrandrus is said to have trapped her lover's spirit within Muradon, corrupting the region now. Corrupt in the region. Now, vicious centaur, ghost, and twisted elemental minions roam every corner of the sprawling caves. Alright, our first boss up here is Tinker Gizlock. Tinker Gizlock and five other gem hunters snuck into Muradon to mine its highly prized crystals. Their plan went horribly wrong when Satar slaughtered everyone in their party save for Gizlock. The goblin trapped within the caves and driven to the brink of madness sees himself as a subterranean region's new ruler. Uh, he has four abilities. Bomb. Where he throws a bomb at random player, goblin dragon gun, inflicting 140 fire damage to all players in front of him for 8 seconds, flash bomb, he'll throw a flash bomb causing all beasts within 51 yards to flee, and shoot, Tinker Gizlock shoots a random player inflicting physical damage. second and last boss we're going to do for this dungeon this is Lord Viletongue the satire Lord Viletongue journeyed into the Murdon's depths after hearing of its corruption Thorodras was weary of the of the convening yeah of the covening demon at first but the Viletongue proved its worth by creating an array of wretched minions such as Noxion and Razalash for the princess uh, he has one, two, three, four major abilities. Uh, first one is shoot. Lord Vile Tongue shoots a random player, inflicting physical damage. Multi shot. Uh, fires a volley of missiles at random player, inflicting arcane damage to them and their nearby allies, affecting up to affecting up to 51 yards. Blink. Vile Tongue teleports 201 yards forward, 
And smoke bomb. Lord Valtung throws a smoke bomb, stunning all players within 51 yards. All right, overall pretty easy fight. We are going to get out of here and get queued up for the next dungeon. Okay, we are queued up and we are in Scarlet Monastery. Second and final dungeon of the day. This will also close up the Scarlet Monastery uh, dungeons. The Crusade's fanatical leaders direct their followers from the Scarlet Cathedral at the heart of the monastery grounds. This heavily guarded location functions as the Order's headquarters and some of the most zealous and intolerant crusaders roam the halls of this once hollowed place. Okay, we have reached our first boss. This is Thalnos, the Soul Renderer. Thalnos earned repute in the Scarlet Crusade for the brutal torture methods he used to purify the new recruits. Ultimately, the sadistic mage contracted the plague of undeath and arose as a fearsome skeletal being. The vengeful Thalnos now prowls the monastery graveyard, commanding apparitions and zombified creatures to attack anyone who trespasses on their unholy domain. Uh, Thalnos has four major abilities. Uh, Ry uh, Ray's Fallen Crusader, where he calls in help. Spirit Gale. He launches a spirit at the location of the current target. When the spirit reaches its target, a Spirit Gale forms. The Gale immediately inflicts 463 shadow damage to players within 21 yards and inflicts 150 damage, shadow damage every second. Uh, evict soul and summon empowering spirit. Hey, I guess we're going to jump right into it. Looks like they've already pulled uh, our next boss. This is Brother Korloff. Brother Korloff first le learned of the monks' uh, deadly art from Pandarian ambassadors as they journeyed through the Azeroth. When the Crusader demonstrated his martial style to his superiors, they unanimously ordered Korloff to train an entire generation of initiates in the ways of the monk. Uh, four main moves, Blazing Fist, Firestorm Kick, Rising Flame, and Scorched Earth. Say Blazing Fist uh, begins to unleash a flurry of fiery blows, inflicting 40% damage. Uh, Firestorm Kick. Firestorm Kick inflicting 69 damage to all players within 71 yards. Rising Flame total, uh, loses 10% of his total health. 
inflicting ten additional 10% fire damage. The effect stacks and then scorched earth. At 50% remaining health, Brother Corlor burns brightly enough to leave trail of fire as he moves the scorched earth and inflicts 203 fire damage every second. Alrighty, we have come to our final boss in the Scarlet Monastery. This is High Inquisitor White Mane. At a young age, Sally White Mane witnessed her family succumb to the horrific plague of the undeath as they were traveling through North, North Lordaeron. She was then forced to destroy her parents and siblings when they rose as mindless scourge minions. Leaving her racked by guilt and rage ever since that day, the fearsome priestess has found fulfillment and the pleasure in only one thing, the destruction of the undead. Uh, she also com has Commander Duran, the new military commander of the Scarlet Crusade, attacks the players with a series of lightning quick uh, strikes. He has flashing steel, dashing strike, uh, high inquisitor... Of the Scarlet Crusade comes to the aid of the Commander Duran when he falls, resurrecting him and to fight at her side. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for, uh, for this episode of NTW. I hope you guys learned something when we're running these dungeons and uh, while we're running them, and provided some lore and some backstory. If you guys like what you see and you want to see more, feel free to hit that like and subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that little bell icon so you get notified every time a new episode comes online. Also, uh, do me a favor and make sure you share this video around. And feel free to leave a comment in the comment section. I'll try and uh, read every co I'll read every comment. I'll try and respond to every comment the best I can. Again, my name is Rob. Thank you very much for watching, guys. And always remember, take care of yourselves.